Question 19 asks to consider the induced nuclear reaction shown here. Um, it provides the atomic masses for each of these elements, and it asks to determine the energy in MeV released by the reaction. So this is our situation. Um, this reaction, deuterium nit uh, nitrogen, really produces carbon and helium. So I'll type this one out, which is a little bit easier. We know that the energy released in this reaction is simply given by the change in mass multiplied by C squared. So actually, I represent this slightly differently. We want to know, again, I did say the change in mass, so we should probably include change in mass, but also it's the absolute value of the difference in change in mass. So that just means sometimes you'll need energy to compute this reaction, other times you'll have energy produced in this scenario. So just to take that into account, we just take in terms of absolute value, and we have this expression. So in order to solve for this, we look at the masses on, let's just say our reactant side, or our product side on the right-hand side. We take those masses, so we take, I'll write this out, so our delta mass we'll use is our mass of our final products minus our mass of our initial products. And of course, we take the absolute value of that just so we have a positive mass quantity. So continuing on, if we add in this absolute value term, the mass is provided for us. So of the final terms, mass of carbon-12 is exactly 12. And add in the mass of helium, which is again given to be 4.002603. We subtract off the terms on the left-hand side. So the mass of deuterium, 2.014. 102, and again, we subtract off our nitrogen term, 14.003074. Know that all of these um, values that I provided are in units of atomic mass unit, or U. We multiply this by our C squared. However, we want an energy in terms of MeV, so we can multiply this by a conversion term to go from MeV per U per C squared, which is 931.5 MeV per U per C squared. So this is the value we use to convert from this atomic mass to energy. So our U term cancels out with this U, our C squared term cancels out with this C squared. What we're left with is simply just MeV. If I do this right, great. We perform this calculation and we find that the energy of this reaction is 13.6 MeV. Great that we found this based on the atomic masses that are given to us. If they're not given to us, they'll be found in the back of your textbook. In most cases, you can easily find them somewhere on the internet. Um, so looking at these different change in masses for atomic mass unit U, we multiply that by our mass energy conversion factor, which I call it 931. Just my, maybe if my units aren't clear, 931.5 MeV per C squared per U, and that cancels out our C squared and our atomic mass unit. So there you go.